Good morning. I'm Dr. Picklestein. This morning I woke up at 3.30 a.m. and I immediately wondered how much CO2 in terms of grams is present in a two liter bottle of soda. Why on earth did I think that? I couldn't even begin to tell you. Yet that's what I thought. So then being that diligent scientist that I sometimes can be, I immediately posted to the Facebook page that I have, the Dr. Picklestein Facebook page, and I asked you all, how would you do this? How would you figure out how much carbon dioxide gas in terms of mass is in two liter bottles of soda? Ever since then, I've been thinking and thinking, and I think I came up with a really good way to figure this out. If I could remove the carbon dioxide gas from the water, from the soda, and weigh it before I do that, and then after I do that, I could use the difference to figure out how much carbon dioxide was present. And I just happen to know a really good way to rapidly remove carbon dioxide gas from soda. I'm gonna walk over to my lab and give you that demonstration, and then I'm going to calculate how much carbon dioxide gas, or measure how much carbon dioxide gas is in a two little bottle of Coca-Cola. You are in the lab of Dr. Picklestein, and I just happen to have a handful of these. That's good. And these are Mentos. I have the wrapper because I had to peel it out. So these are Mentos. Now if I only had some Coke, well, it turns out I do. Right here. Coca-Cola. See? And I'm going to add just straight to this. I'm going to let that come out. It's going to make a mess. I guarantee it. I'm just going to put these in here. I'm going to probably hit something. I know this will shoot up high. So, if I only had a test tube, I would be in business. Okay, let's see. Do I have a test tube somewhere? Don't I you do. have one? Right here. It turns out that this is just exactly the right size to put down my mentos. See? There they are. Now, if I only had a credit card, and I do. Actually, I want to use something that's less important. Than oh, I'm going to use this Walmart card for a baby, it says. And just with that, that's all I need to test this little mechanism here. I just do this, see? And I try to line this up so that when this falls in, it will be perfect. So let's try it. Here we go. For some reason, Mentos makes the carbon dioxide gas come out of the soda. And since the Mentos falls to the bottom of the soda, and all the carbon dioxide gas comes out at the bottom, it shoots everything up and out. And that's what you just saw. And I think I can use this to remove all the carbon dioxide from soda to figure out how many grams of CO2, carbon dioxide, is present in one two liter bottle of soda. And you can see the mess down here. In my Dr. Picklestein Science Challenge, I wanted you to know to come up with a way to measure the mass of carbon dioxide in soda. And so I went out and bought some soda, and I think I actually have figured out a way to do it. And it's based on something that I just got done showing you, which is the reaction that takes place between soda and Mentos. Now, I don't want to make a big mess, so I figured out a way to do this, I think, so that we can figure this out without much difficulty. 
So, what I'm going to do is take six mentos and I'm going to put them inside this bucket. And all this plus this is the soda. And I got it all in here. And my idea is I'm going to measure the total weight of all these things together and then get rid of the carbon dioxide gas and we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to first do is I got Mentos in this bucket and I'm going to put it on my balance and you can see that that alone weighs 670 grams and if I just, I'll tear it that makes it zero. Okay, so it's more or less zero. Now I'm going to, so that will subtract off the mass of the bucket plus those Mentos. Now the rest I need to worry about is what's left over is the soda and this bottle. Now I don't want to open this up because there's carbon dioxide gas sitting above here and if I do that it will escape and that will change our mass. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait. So just this had a mass of 2,149.16 or so grams. It's changing the number of grams. So it's right about there. I'm going to write that down. Okay, so I'm going to write down 2,149 point about one zero grams. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. So this is this is bottle plus soda plus coke I'll say because that's what it is plus any CO2 that's present. Now I gotta get rid of the CO2 somehow. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to try to open it just in case it got shake, shaken. I don't want to. You can hear it. So there's some gas escaping right now, and you can see the bubbles coming up. So gas is definitely escaping. So now I'm going to pour this in, and I'm doing it this way rather than putting the Mentos in here because I don't want to. I don't want to have the soda go flying all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm hoping that just by pouring this and touching the Mentos, you can see it's pretty foamy. It should get pretty flat. I can see some bubbling happening. Look inside here. So th there's some bubbling well, going on. You tilt it. Can't see how. There's some bubbling going on. So there's still some carbon dioxide in there. I'm gonna spin it around a little bit and get get things displaced with the Mentos. I'm going to put this back on here and just, I'm going to put the cap back on. I'm just going to rest this on top of the bottle just to see if we lost any weight so far. Wow! Right now we've lost over 10 grams. That's pretty amazing just by doing that really quickly. Now there's still some bubbling happening, so I'm going to let it sit just for a little bit more. And we'll come back to this in, a, say, 10 minutes. Turn it off. Mm -hmm. Rolling. Okay, so we've waited um, an amount of time, and I want you to look at how this looks. It looks disgusting. I cannot stand flat soda. That's flat. You don't see many. No more bubbles coming out. It just looks like terrible stuff. So let's measure... The final volume, I mean the final 
amount. So this is just just the bottle plus the Coke. CO2 is gone. So we got two, one, three, seven point, say three, six, zero or so. No, two, six. Okay, grams. All righty. Now we just have to do some math and figure this out. I'm a okay, that was pretty cool. So, just to remind you, I have these numbers. So for Coke, I have 2,149.10 grams. That's the bottle plus the Coke plus the carbon dioxide. Then after I degassed it with the Mentos, I have 2,137.26 grams. And so now I just have to subtract those and from that I'm going to get what I need. So let's do that. So let's see, I got my calculator here. Let's see, two, one, four, nine. I know I could do this without a calculator, and by the way, that would be just fine. However, I'm lazy today. So let's see, two, one, three, seven, point two, six. Okay, we got eleven. Point eight four grams CO2. That's the difference, and the difference in mass. So if I subtract these, I'll even put a subtraction sign there. So remind. So eleven point eight four grams of carbon dioxide is what we got. Now it makes me wonder what percent of the overall original mass is carbon dioxide. Remember that original mass does include the mass of the bottle, so. It's not just the soda, but I forgot to weigh the bottle, so we're just going to have to stick with that. But we'll figure out just what percent, if we include the soda plus the bottle, what percent of the overall mass was carbon dioxide gas. So I'm going to figure that out. And I'm just going to divide 11.84 grams divided by the original mass of the bottle plus the coke and multiply that by a hundred percent here that'll give us what percentage the CO2 was of the overall amount now I'll just do that I'll divide do that uh, two one four nine point one times one hundred so about 0 0.5 5 and then we have four significant digits so I'll, I'll carry it out to all four but really about 0.55 percent so here's the math 0 0.5509 percent but we'll call it just between us friends we do that now if I really wanted to do this and get a sense of just how reproducible this was. I would have to repeat this maybe maybe six more times. At the minimum, I'd have to do it three times because then I could get the statistical sort of uh, a relevance that I need or significance that I need. But the more times you do it, the better. So then I would average and come up with what something we call the standard deviation, and I could get a sense of what the error was on this. So I could have 12 plus or minus whatever. I don't want to do this six more times so I showed you how to do this for one bottle and I'd have to repeat it several times if I want a really accurate answer um, and so it with a sense of what the error is what are the plus or minus numbers you know is it 12 plus or minus 2 12 plus or minus 1 12 plus or minus 0.5 and then the other thing might be interesting to do is try this with different kinds of sodas they might pressure the soda differently at different bottling companies so Coke may be different than Pepsi, may be different than uh, some generic brand that you might see. Or imagine Coke versus 7-Up uh, versus Sprite versus Mountain Dew. You might get different variations in CO2 as well. So there you have it. It all started at 3.30 this morning. And here I am.
I had to do it, and I did it. And it was fun. Science is...